local election headquarters, and we have an election update for you tonight. The county elections office releasing new numbers late this afternoon, and District 5 Supervisor Leticia Perez has now lost her lead to Kimberly Salas, who now leads by 43 votes in one of the closest local races in recent memory. Perez, the incumbent, had been leading since Election Day. 17's Connor Doerr joining us in studio now with what comes next. Connor? This race and the 22nd Congressional District race were projected to be close, but not this close for the District 5 Supervisors race. And the new numbers have people watching this race wondering who will win it. Last night, Leticia Perez was leading Kimberly Salas by just four votes. Now Salas is leading by 43. Both candidates said they were not available to comment on this race. Tell Eslick, Central Valley political analyst, says the last minute political drama of Perez's office being raided by district attorney investigators two weeks before the election is what most likely played the strongest role swaying votes. The issue with the raid of the office that I think was probably not helpful um, and we're seeing that play out. Uh, a handful of votes, four votes means basically this one will continue to be battled um, for the coming days and weeks. Eslick also says Salas had big money backing her campaign. In this particular race there was outside interests who, um, i.e. independent expenditure money that came into the race, I think in opposition to Supervisor Perez. And I think Kim Salas appears to have run a pretty disciplined uh, campaign. The Congressional District 22 race was called by the AP Tuesday. David Valadeo beat Rudy Salas by almost 10,000 votes. I think uh, Rudy's message of being different than what he had voted for, running against the policies that have made people's lives more difficult here in the Central Valley, uh, wasn't resonating because people didn't believe what he was uh, what he was saying. There are still 10,000 unprocessed ballots, according to the elections office. The office also said that the next ballot results should be up by Friday. In studio, Connor Doerr, 17 News. All right.